Hey, welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. Today I'm excited to share with you a quick tip in After Effects when we are dealing with generating different color palettes or different kind of look inside of After Effects for our motion design uh, projects. We're gonna be utilizing arithmetic, something that maybe you're not familiar with, but I love using this. So let's go uh, right into a project that I have open here and dive right in. Here I've generated an image using AI and I've got this um, skyline with some nice looking clouds behind it. Nothing really special. But what I want to do is not have this look so realistic, but what I want to do is kind of give it some color and some texture to it, right? So what I can do is instead of going up to Colorama and uh, dragging this into our scene, yeah, Colorama gives us a lot of different looks for the color, but one of the things that it doesn't do is doesn't give us texture to it, right? It doesn't look uh, good in my opinion. So instead of using Colorama, what we can do is we can use arithmetic. I'm gonna go ahead and delete Colorama here and I'm gonna drag in arithmetic. And right away, we're not gonna get anything. So on the operator here, I'm just gonna leave it on XOR and I'm just gonna play with these red, green, and blue values. And almost right away, uh, you're gonna see what it's doing, right? It's playing with the uh, uh, shadows, it's playing with the different highlights and midtones, and it's mapping the red channel to those tones. And as I play with these values for the green channel, it's starting to kind of give me different types of looks, right? And it's not so apparent that it's just changing the colors, but it's mapping to different values of each channel. And so if I go in here and I can play with um, maybe let's say the red and the green channel or so, make that up to 255, I can absolutely uh, come in and get some good texture out of arithmetic. I can even go into the operator and I can uh, set it to one of these other values here, right? Maybe that's not what you want, but hey, maybe that is what you want. This might look good if you're doing something with Miami Vice or something along the line. Maybe you're trying to add some texture to a design and you don't want it to be so overly apparent that it's a skyline, but you have a color palette that you can manipulate. Maybe you don't want green, so a really good way to change that is adding a hue and saturations effect and just changing the colors, right? It's all really uh, what, what you want out of it. And using arithmetic is a good way to uh, uh, bring variety to your images and your designs. I highly encourage you to jump right in uh, that's all that I have for you today. Thanks for checking out this Digital Media Institute quick tip. My name is Brandon, and I'll see you in the next one.